everybody, Dave Briscoe from Briscoe's Better Boating. Guess what time it is? Time to do the oil change. And I use my boat a lot, so every 50 hours you should change oil on your boat. Well, for me, sometimes when I'm busy, that's once a week. I don't have time to put the boat on the trailer, take it to the dealership, wait for it, pay the expense that it costs. I'd rather do it myself. So I'm gonna show you some ways today, one, that's a lot more cost effective, and two, is really easy to do, it keeps your boat clean, and I'm gonna show you the steps on how to do it. Here we go. So I've got two boats that I have to deal with here. I've got a, a brand new Mastercraft NXT that's a V-Drive. And then behind me, you can see that I've got the ProStar 19 to the 88. Most of you guys that watch the YouTube channel saw that restoration of that boat. So let's start off with the NXT. The first thing we gotta do is locate your oil drain line. And on most new boats, they put a line. And what you're looking for is this brass cap right here. It's actually got a really high tech shower curtain hanger on it, which uh, most of these $150 to $200,000 boats have that uh, 37 cent piece of a shower curtain hanger from 1983. Uh, so here it is, here's our hose. And what this hose is hooked directly to the bottom of my oil pan. So this is the best option to drain the oil because this is sucking from the bottom of the pan. So all we have to do first is we have to take off this end cap. Okay, and I got my wrench is ready to go. Give it a little twist. Boom. There we go. And off we go. Now, this thread right here, if I can find a threading like this at my local hardware store that's a nipple, then I can thread it into this hose and I can use that to suck my oil out. Let's go over to the 190. So here we are on the Masscraft 190 Pro Star. And the nice thing about this is it's a direct drive boat, so the engine's really easy to access and easy to move around. The unfortunate thing is there's not a drain coming off the bottom of the oil pan on this boat. My goal is to run this boat until the engine dies. When I do put a new motor on, I will hose a new hose on like the NXT that I can access from the side of the motor. But until that day, we gotta go down through the dipstick. So the dipstick is right here, and obviously that goes down into the oil pan. So we're gonna set that aside, and if you take a refrigerator water line hose or your ice maker water line hose, it's quarter inch, and it perfectly, if you zoom in, take my glass off so I can see what I'm doing, it fits right down that oil dipstick line, okay? And we wanna cut this about two feet longer than the length of our dipstick, so we know it's hitting the bottom, and we have enough sticking up that we can get to the tank that we're about to use. So let's move to that. I'm gonna bring you over to show you the parts that we're gonna to use to suck the oil out and make it a nice, clean, easy oil change. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need is the suction pump to get the oil out of the boat. This thing comes as a whole kit, and you can see right here, Porta Quick Oil Changer. You can get that from a marina. You can get it usually online, um, but look around and you'll find one. This is a Jabsco reversible pump. I bought this thing probably about 10 years ago, but I know you can still get them. It's actually the same pump that you'll get in your wakeboard boats. A lot of your wakeboard boats have a Jabsco reversible pump that sucks the water in and it also drains it out of the same hole. And that's exactly what this is. The nice part is the impeller is right behind these three screws right here. So it's really easy if you do blow an impeller, take it off, put the new impeller in. Real simple to use, okay? So the hose that this comes with it's a half inch line and this is an old line that I've used for years and what I used to do is just take this and stuff it over like the hose coming out of the oil pan that we saw on the NXT I would just stuff this over it which will work and it will suck all the oil out the problem is when you take it off you got to keep it upright or it's gonna drain oil into your boat or you have to find some way to cap it so what I'm gonna do in this system is I actually made a cap so that when we do take this off, we can put a cap on so it's dry. So let me show you how we did it. We're gonna get rid of the old hose, gone. And we're gonna take the new line. I like that it's clear because I can see when I'm still sucking oil or not. So I'm gonna put this onto my half inch nipple. And when I'm done, I'll hose clamp all this, but I'm just gonna show you how I got from this half inch hose down to my quarter inch line on the boat. So we're gonna come over here. And the first thing that I needed to do is get a fitting that will fit into this half inch line. 
And what I found was something that'll fit in that has a half inch thread here that's on a brass fitting. So let's leave that alone for a second because we know that we've got to get to that. That's my goal. I got to come back to what I took off of the boat. Now this is the NXT plug that we took out earlier. This is a quarter inch brass uh, thread that fits in a brass pipe. And I've got a quarter inch brass nipple here that's exactly the same size that I can now thread in to the hose that's on the boat. So I've now got to go from this quarter inch nipple up to that half inch line, but I also want a quick connect so that I don't have to spin the whole hose to, to thread these together. So this is how I did it. If you zoom in on here, I've got the nipple, which is quarter inch. Now you might find different parts at your hardware store that you can do it easier, but this is what I could find at mine. So I'm gonna take a quarter inch insert, and this is gonna bring me up to a half inch. I'll Teflon these with Teflon tape before I finalize the thread, but I'm just gonna show you how I got there. So now I got a half inch, and this is where I'm gonna come up with my quick connect. I took another half inch insert that is gonna go to a thread that's a garden hose filling, okay? And this is gonna be my quick connect. That'll be hooked to that hose. It won't spin anymore. This garden hose thread, this is my key right here. This is gonna be able to spin independently from that hose. Okay, so I take my garden hose thread and I go to my half inch nipple that we have on the hose and this will all be solid. This will never come off and on again. The only part that's gonna come off and on is this connection. And because this spins independently, I don't have to spin any hose. So I'll hook up that and now this is threaded into my boat and I can turn the pump on and I suck the oil out clean out of the NXT Mastercraft. When I'm done, I unthread this garden hose fitting I leave this sitting upright in the boat, and now I can take my cap, I, I got myself a PVC cap. It's got a garden hose thread on one side, and it's got a machine thread on the other with an end cap. So now I can take that and thread it right into my garden hose fitting, and now I can set that down inside my boat and it's not gonna leak, okay? When I'm going to the 190 and I had to suck out of the, um, the dipstick line, using the hose that is from your ice maker or from your water feed, I go down to the nipple that will fit my water feed, which is right here. And this quarter inch will fit over that nipple and I'll hose clamp that on. And now this other quarter inch thread will thread directly onto the thread that I had for my NXT, okay? So these are all really nice, clean connections. It's gonna keep oil from dripping in your boat. It's really not that difficult to do. And next, we will go to actually changing the oil. We'll go suck it out. I'll show you what filters to get, which oil I recommend. This is the hardest part. Once the oil's out and you've got this all secured again, it's just a matter of putting the new filter on, putting the oil in, and you're ready to go. So we'll show you that on the next video. Stay tuned. Please subscribe, like, share, show all your friends, and keep watching, and I'll keep trying to give you tips on Briscoe's Better Boating.